Unit Three, Lesson Three, Grammar. Objective: I can use the present perfect to talk about experiences. Activity One: Look and read. Present perfect: affirmative, negative. With never. She has never seen a lion in the wild. She's never seen a lion in the wild. She's seen a lion at the zoo. She's never seen a lion in the wild. The present perfect simple has three functions. First, we use present perfect to talk about past recent events. For example, she has had an accident. It has just eaten. Next, we also use present perfect to talk about unfinished situations, situations that started in the past but have not finished. For example. She has lived here for twenty years. They have known each other since two thousand. Lastly, we use present perfect to talk about past experiences. Take note that unlike past simple, we don't say when these events happened. We just know that it happened sometime in the past between the day you were born until now. For example, they have been to Japan. He has swum with sharks. Our focus for today is the third function, which is to use present perfect to talk about past experiences. Let's learn how to form the sentences. To form present perfect affirmative sentences, we begin with subject, followed by have or has. And the past participle. For example, I, you, we, they have been to Japan. We can also use the contraction of have. He, she, it has gone home. We can also use apostrophe s as the contraction for has. Next, we form present perfect negative with never, like this. We begin with subject, followed by have or has, never, and the past participle. For example, I, you, we, they 
have never been to Japan. He, she, it has never tried kayaking. We can also use contractions when we are speaking. Let's practice. Activity two: Complete the text with the correct form of the verbs. Martin Evans is only twelve years old, but he has done a lot of exciting things. He has written a blog about his adventures. He has climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, and he has swum with dolphins. He has traveled by plane, but he has never flown in a hot air balloon. He has visited Paris, but he has never climbed the Eiffel Tower. Why? Because Martin is scared of heights. Activity three: Tell a partner what you have done and what you have never done. Add your own ideas. For example. I've tried skiing, but I've never swum in the sea. That is the end of the lesson. To do the exercise, you may click the link in the description box. Do like and subscribe to see more lessons like this. Happy learning!